Welcome back to my channel, Jelly Babes. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I created these pixel hearts. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, so this design wasn't my own inspiration. I actually did this about four years ago, um, inspired by Swanette for nail stamp for fun. So I thought I would come back and redo it. This was my design uh, that I did uh, four years ago and this was the actual um, design that inspired me to recreate it. Absolutely miss your work uh, Swanette and I hope you are still well and okay. So this is the base that I'm going to be using. So uh, this is a Kiki London polish and obviously you're going to want to have prepped your nails ready for a gel manicure and applied a base coat. Um, before adding the first um, coat of polish. So this is a good, it's kind of like a, a pinky purpley sort of color. Um, it's a really nice uh, base to work off. So you wanna make sure that you're applying it nice and even, nice and thin coats, and you uh, seal the free edge by running the brush across the bottom of the nail. And obviously you need to cure each layer in the lamp. So I'm getting to use a plate that I haven't used before. So it's an Uber Chic plate number 2203. And it's this image here in the bottom right that I'm gonna be using um, to create the pixel look. So you just need to remove the blue protective film beforehand. And I'll just give you a quick look over some of the stamping images. Have you got this plate? I can't believe I haven't used it. It's got some really cool images on it. I'm gonna to have to have more of a play. So there you go, hopefully you can see it a bit better. Sorry for the light glare. We don't all have pro setup. <laughs> um, but yeah, but this has got some really cool images on it. So this is the first stamping polish that I'm gonna be adding. It's called Jack Frosting, and it is a really cool, like a cool blue color. So you wanna apply a layer of it. A clear um, stamper is going to be good for this because you're going to be uh, putting layered stamping so you can clearly see uh, what you're placing and where. So I placed this sort of, uh, I didn't fully cover the nail on purpose because um, I'm just going to position this image at different uh, parts of the nail with different colours. So the next one I'm using is this gorgeous green and it's called Sweet Child of Lime. So again, back to the same image and I'm going to pick it up and this time I'm going to uh, spin it round as you can see and add it at the bottom and kind of like cover the similar amount of nail as I did before. So that covers up that, that part of the at the bottom which didn't particularly have any of the stamping image on. So you can see how it's starting to form now. And this is the last color that I'm gonna be using. So another hit the bottle. Uh, it's a gorgeous color, it's purple rain. So what I would say with this, it doesn't really matter what uh, order that you put the colors in. I would just advise that you finish off with the darker color because that's gonna outline um, all of the uh, squares, which is gonna give this that pixelated look. So I just placed that and covered the whole nail, as you can see. And that's where I wanted to leave it because if I kind of kept going, it was just gonna be lots of like blotches of different color. So if you are um, sort of confident in your own stamping, you can skip this step, but just to save all of that uh, stamping work, I'm gonna put a layer of uh, a glossy top coat, a glossy gel top coat on. So if I do make any mistakes, I can just wipe it off and it's not gonna remove any of the stamping underneath. So I'm gonna be using another Uber Sheet plate. So this is 601. I used this uh, originally four years ago uh, when I created this uh, design. Well, not created, I recreated this design. Um, so um, these are great, these negative space images, like I say, because you can experiment with sort of cool bases. So I'm gonna try and fill as much of the nail as possible. I did keep the um, plate, the, sorry, the image this way up on all of the nails. I just placed it slightly differently. So if you've got any edges that haven't quite covered, you can come in with a striping brush and fill it in. That's what I did here. 
but I was so happy with how this turned out. I really wanted to create this look like four years ago, but I just didn't have the right stamping image to create the pixel base. So when I saw that on this plate that I hadn't even used, I thought, right, I've got to give it a go and try it out. And I was really, really happy with how this turned out. So you want to finish off now with uh, some top coat. And this is the end look. I just think it's a really cool um, design. It doesn't, it won't really take that long to do. Like you can do all of the colour on all of your nails in one go, and then move on to the next colour. But let me know your thoughts on this mani. I would love for you to recreate this and keep obviously Swanet uh, from Nail Stamp for Fun's work alive as well. Um, so if you do recreate this, tag me in on Instagram if you're on social media at Jellylicious and I will reshare your recreation on my Instagram stories. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and check out this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments box below. And until next time, Jelly Babes, take care. Bye.